We are finally setting up the big DIY enclosure. So the first thing I'm going to add in is the multi-chamber hideout from Night Angel with the stilts. clean it was from the night angel when I very first set it up and then I had to take it down so we have all of this bedding here <laughs> living things paper bedding is a sand bath or whatever type of um, digging box you want it to be. things so this is a birch log and I've attached um, some wooden dowels to it and these ones are stilts that you can place something on top it's just four popsicle sticks glued together with Elmer's glue and then four dowels attached with Elmer's glue so let's put them in Leg is so Put in some cork locks. How should I put this in? I got some different things because I think I'm going to change it up a bit. I'm very indecisive when I'm making enclosures as you can probably tell. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know where to put 
put anything. Okay. <laughs> I think, um, I think I know where I want to put stuff. And one of the best parts to add. In this corner dish, I'm going to add some cork granules. And obviously I'm going to put sand in the sand bath, but as you can see, um, I'm a little low on sand. So apparently I have to go buy more and there is a hole in this bag as well. So I think it's been leaking out. This is the Mount Fuji, I think it's called, water dish. So I'm gonna add that into here. And that is the enclosure. I'm not sure if I'm 100% happy with it. So it's the next day and I slept overnight and I just am not satisfied with this setup. So I'm gonna rearrange it again. I have this really cute purple mushroom hide I got from a friend. to add in my sprays and I'll leave a link in the description bar of where I get all of these. Now for my herbs. And I think that completes the enclosure. I'm a little bit more happier with how it looks now than I originally had it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.